This is Dr. Amber Polly, and today we are going to be talking about what do you need to know about tick bite fever. Um, it's a very relevant topic for our town and we do see a lot of tick bite fever. You contract tick bite fever by firstly getting bitten by a tick. Usually ticks from dogs or um, ticks from cows or game um, can carry the, the rickettsia which is the organism that causes tick bite fever. There's two main types but that's less important. What you need to know is that it presents about a week after the tick bite. You start getting symptoms of headache and fever and joint aches often and then you get some swelling in your glands so the glands that get swollen is specifically the glands that are in the same kind of area as the tick bite and also the tick bite will start looking a little bit ugly we call it an eschar and what it looks like is like a center black little mark and it has a red ring around it and that's quite a hallmark sign you almost for certain will know you have tick bite fever if you have an eschar if you have a swollen lymph node in that region and a bad headache and maybe a fever as well So obviously you want to prevent yourself from getting bitten by ticks. So you want to cover the main areas that would be exposed and ticks tend to bite the ankles a lot. So if you're walking in the bush, wear long socks, um, wear ankle guards that protect your, your ankles and your feet. And then if you do come back from walking in the bush, be sure to check your feet. And um, for parents with children, it's important to check them in the bath in, in the evening and make sure there's no ticks on them. Look between their toes, look between their legs, look between under their arms, um, for those are also common places that the ticks like to attach. It gets treated with antibiotics and if you don't get the antibiotics, there can be complications that develop. So strongly encouraged to see your doctor if you do get symptoms and signs.